The General Dynamics Land System Striker is an infantry <laughs> carrier vehicle, and that is deployed in large numbers by the US Army. The basic vehicle is fitted with a Konsberg remote weapon station, normally armed with a 50 cal machine gun. But things have moved on, the threat gets worse. So, what do we have here? This is the latest striker. It is fitted with a Konsberg MCT turret armed with a latest orbital ATK 30mm dual feed cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun. Um, this is being deployed under an urgent need requirement and the first unit to get it will be the 2nd Cavalry Regiment based in Germany. In addition to the eight prototypes, a total of 83 production vehicles are being built and that will be based on the latest Striker. More powerful engine, upgraded suspension and indeed the double V hull. The new thing about the turret is that it is operated by the gunner from Under Armour. He has the same controls as, as currently deployed on the Kongsberg remote weapon station. Also, unlike many other weapon stations, it can be loaded from under armour, which makes the gunner more survivable. As it's dual feed, it can have two different types of ammunition. One will probably be APFSDS, and the other one could be programmable airburst munition, which is very useful taking out enemy anti-tank teams. So this is already deployed in Europe in the not too distant future, and there also is the possibility of additional follow-on orders. So, Striker, Dragoon, developed under an urgent needs requirement and will provide the Striker Brigade combat team with a step change in lethality and engage targets to be engaged at a longer range and more effectiveness. As the gun is fully stabilised, it can engage targets while the platform is on the move and indeed if the, if the, if the target is on the move.